say it, mate. I love it. Gives me life. <laughs> <laughs> For the first Titan you can win in it, you choose between Volston and Valon. And the second Titan is between Artemis and Poseidon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, 134 is slowly rolling out. You should, you guys should see it over the course of this week and maybe the start of next week. New five star relics, two new conquest levels, two new assault levels, new four star economy relics, improving conquest boost relic effects. You're going to see trading time reduction, neutral lands changing to gold. I can't remember what else. A few different stuff you have. Uh, I think also. that's about it. To be honest, yeah. displaying the science level, alphabetical ordering in the relic inventory. Removing damage against Titans, yeah. And additional anti cheat stuff in the background. Yeah, and obviously sneak peek 135, walking in circles is fixed. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to get 12 relics to be even four to 12 Watch. relics at yep. once. Lovely. Um, Robert, Robert Hello, guys, and welcome to another Ron Gamer recap. So, uh, as you might have seen, uh, just quickly from the uh, a few details meant well the details given out by uh, Matt in this quick recap in the end so a lot of things been covered there already uh, which I hope you find useful um, I wanted to go over more in sort of in detail as I always do regarding um, the important bits and pieces that were mentioned in the live stream um, uh, so this event art for uh, is for you being able to collect a choice of, um, of between a um, De uh, definition of devs of an attacker and a defender so the relic will feature artemis and poseidon um, you can pick up two new relics as they have mentioned in the in the starting of the stream as well which is the relic you see the first one there uh, hunter's bow and sunken armor in the middle uh, the relic on the right go uh, which is i think it's called nature's wrath has featured before and i think that was in the oaken toes event the boost titans for this event will be uh, as you can see, Artemis, Poseidon, Valor, and Volstan for 1.3. Now, four star titans give 1.2, they say. Uh, now, what that could sh or should mean, given that this event uh, has Blessed Compass, and Blessed Compass gives Iron Souls, and Iron Souls uh, means uh, uh, if it's a four star physical titan, if you've got yourself a Minotaur and the ring, 1.2 times 1.2, 1.44 IE. A boost of 1.4 should apply for Minotaur with his ring. Uh, I did ask them on the live stream, but I think uh, they didn't uh, they read my comments or something. So not really. This isn't confirmed, but I would be. Uh, I mean, I'd be really, really surprised if that did not happen. So, yeah, 1.4 boost is very likely going to happen with Minotaur and his ring. Uh, also, you have an opportunity to pick up four uh, physical titans if you want to give that a shot when the event lands. Uh, so good stuff if you really want to go for that as well um, as far as the rewards chain go uh, as you um, as they have mentioned here the re rewards really don't really begin till about four or five thousand souls but you pick up uh, some pretty good freebies on the way some gems and some tokens and as you you might have seen in my earlier suggestion uh, for the, my top suggestion for the game it's always good to grind to about 2000 or 2500 souls to collect those three or four tokens three tokens i believe it is um, and that really really helps you save up in case you're not interested in this event um, uh, you do pick up hercules at three and a half thousand souls which is actually uh, uh, as uh, i've also mentioned as well one of the best three star titans you can really have in the early game so if you're new to the game uh, might be worth getting uh, the Hercules uh, for that purpose. Uh, uh, the Lion Pelt is actually a pretty good relic. It gives you Titan Health and Titan Critical along with the Titan Damage, which is better than a Elemental um, Elemental Damage. Um, uh, it's I only wonder uh, wonder when they will come up with a four star version of this relic. Uh, Seven thousand souls you pick up um, Copus, and I'll go through what these relics are in a moment. Uh, you pick up Valorum's Helm at 9,000, which is actually pretty sweet. Uh, now, the interesting thing starts at 11k, where you pick up this so-called Bulwark Titan token. What that means is, um, and along with 16,000 souls, you pick up so-called a Blade uh, Titan token. So you've got two types of tokens in this event that you get to pick up. And then there are going to be altars for you to be able to redeem uh, these tokens. Now, the word Bulwark normally refers to a wall. And uh, so the Bulwark tokens will let you um, pull one of two Titans, which is Valorn or Volstan. And the Blade token will let you pull in a Poseidon and Artemis. Now, there was a question of 
well if how does blade apply to poseidon uh, the devs say that uh, they can they, they do find a lot of players using poseidon on offense which is not a bad which is actually a fair assessment um so yeah so you get to choose between pulling poseidon or artemis from the blade token and a choice of pulling Ballon or wolstan from the bulwark token um, personally for me I probably will go for a second Valoran if I um, if I do this event and I will be going for my second Artemis I already have two Poseidons already so I'm not really going for, um, going for second one there as well uh, do note they uh, they did mention that both these uh, well, Poseidon skill isn't changed is, isn't changed or anything is the same as before so no X skills for maidens unfortunately uh, so the, the, the relic at 7000 souls is Copis and this uh, relic did come out when we had the revamped Volstan um, being released. So Volstan's uh, an, an, a militia version of Valoran, that is, you get uh, X skills for defense for your militia along with three tier three elemental resists. Um, and this one uh, will give you, I believe, it's sixteen percent resist um, to all elements. So you can get your resistances for, for those three elements that you get to 88%. So yeah, pretty good relic there. Valorum Silence is probably, in my opinion, the best relic in um, in this in the lower half of the chain, well, or the middle half of the chain, let's say, because this relic is uh, the uh, you know gives you 40% spearman health um, and I believe it's 24, 24 resist and uh, against poison and fire. I think it is. Uh, so it's a very good relic because uh, almost any build that's centered around spearmen whether it be minotaur valor uh, maybe one of those tolens if you're trying to build one of those uh, really relies on your uh, spearmen being completely immune to poison because if you're not having max poison resist um you know any uh, determined artemis slash ladega um you know attacker will really get through so yeah really good relic to go for golden fleece features in this event as well and this one uh, is 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 really uh, only poseidon uh, relic now also uh, one thing to think from the future um whenever we see the f release and we will see a release of some of a version of ice tor as so falling in line with minotaur okantor and storm tor so we should see a imperial omega uh, summoning version of the of the tors um and if he summons um you know mega imperials and in my opinion melee summoners are normally better on attack than um range summoners uh, because they can also serve very well on defense so um yeah so this might be really you want to get a, a copy of if um if you only have one uh thing from the future nature's wrath uh this is one actually i don't have because i didn't do the open tours event uh this really gives you uh 24 percent titan and army resist against lightning and uh, coupled with uh pretty decent uh, uh buff for your omegas uh, but this relic although it was released with open talk could be quite well used with an artemis build um, but one thing to keep in mind though this relic in my opinion is okay because and probably not the greatest given the fact that it, it probably doesn't matter how much lightning resist you're going to put in on your panthers it, it, it can only be a slight annoyance to an attacker coming in with any um, zeus or thereabouts because storm maidens are just too strong against panthers uh, here's a new relic sunken armor uh, this i believe will go up to 24 percent omega remember it's omega it does not apply to all so it's omega only omega imperial resist against ranged this is actually a very nice relic now there was a relic in the last event for the Drakkar's event which also gave imperial resist against range so there's quite a lot of ranged resistances going around so it's uh, not completely impossible to build a uh, a, a, a maxed out re uh, ranged resist in there all right uh, now do remember there is a cap for range resistance uh, it's i think it's at 95 percent so you can't really ever have 100 percent resistance so the five percent will always get through but it can but all of those percentages uh, especially when you have anything that's resist beyond 80 percent it really starts to make a lot of difference um in get between getting green or red 
on your defense. Uh, and now this relic I also like for the fact that you get all troop armor and imperial's damage. Uh, so um, if you think about um, another relic that's similar to this for the second and third slot, it is the uh, Frost Banner. Frost Banner gives you Imperial's damage and Imperial's armor. I hope I'm right on that. Um, uh, so uh, this relic can be stacked as an additional version almost of that and uh, you can really build up effective armor for your Imperial. So yeah, something which you can probably, um, um, you know, and especially uh, whenever we have an Ice Tor come out, this could be something um, coming very handy because I would think Ice Tor could be one where you have Omega, um, you know, Omega uh, Imperials and they probably probably will be a ranged unit, might be archers, you never know. So yeah, could, co could, come, in, could come in quite handy, um, I think, on that. Hunter's Bow, New Relic. Um, this one I got mixed feelings about because uh, the... Uh, the critical like th there is there uh, you know whenever you have a relic that only buffs an omega troop uh, with especially something like critical um, it doesn't really sell well because it only applies to let's say four or five of those now panthers the, the maximum panthers you can get is four um, from Artemis so well you're only giving a critical boost for your um, pa Omega Panthers, nothing else. But yes, you do pick up Panthers on piercing, but there are a lot of relics. For example, Dory would probably perform better. But this relic might have a little bit of niche in the fact that it gives you Titan and Troop resist against ranged. Um, and which, if it is quite, uh, again, sort of interesting because you've got resist against range for Imperials as well, and you've got something for Panthers. And I wonder if ever we had a combination of Panthers and um, uh, and Imperials, you know, some sort of a weird uh, Huntress or well, Huntress at Oni, I can't remember, the one in the Divine Altar that, su that summoned three types of um, three type of human troops. If you had a combination of that, this may come in useful from the future. All right, so now the other thing also in this event, uh, which I think uh, is worth noting, is the fact that you pick up uh, a blade, additional blade Titan token between 51 and 100. And, and also, while I say that, um, the top 50 prizes are the same trend as before, which is that we see uh, the featured Titan. I say it's interesting that they went for Artemis and not uh, well, Lauren or Wolstein. Uh, but you know, you have you get an opportunity to pick up an additional Artemis if you didn't pick one already from uh, the token that you get from the event. Uh, but now, uh, the, what is interesting about this is that when an alliance is doing the event, if they if uh, they don't land up getting top 50. Uh, the blade token is probably not a bad it's not a bad reward almost the same as being in the top 50 because you can use the same token to pick up an Artemis at level one well not level five but a level one Artemis uh, can be picked up from the blade Titan token so uh, it's gonna be uh, in, in my opinion this is a this is like an event where you can get Artemis right till top hundred so yeah quite a good quite a good uh, event from that perspective um, uh, there is a gift that's being uh, that's going to be given out when the just before the event begins tomorrow and the event begins Thursday 3 p.m. as we've been told uh, this is apparently to compensate for uh, some maintain some server maintenance they had to do and apparently there was unavoidable and they had to do it uh, so there you go um, two new fantastic five star relics coming in to dilute the pool of the five star which is kind of a uh, which is a bit sad though because you know you lose uh, well the chance of getting the, the relic that you want starts to go down but well here it is bow of kings and new five star range uh, um, relic for the rangers um, you've got titan damage troop resistance troop resistance against all elements and 40 percent all troop armor piercing which if you compare to the stormbringer the stormbringer does not do anything for titan damage uh, and and I actually only offers 30% uh, troop armor piercing, and this one gives 40%. Um, and uh, but this relic does not boost the troops themselves in their damage. Um, so you, it, it's it, this could be situational, and might be this might be for a longer discussion to see um, where this could be used better. You got the Trickster's Blades, and uh, Trickster always reminds me of Loki, so I wonder if they're thinking about putting this on Loki to give him um, 
and increased effectiveness you've got titan damage which remember is much more important than just getting let's say uh, an ice damage um, or a physical damage oops there because they it, because the um the, uh, the 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 stat changes apply to the base of um, base damage of any titan in there um, you get up 70% resist against melee and 85% titan resist against ranged now this is obviously brilliant um uh, so <laughs> this could be finally a five star infiltrate relic that is usable beyond its own it's beyond it's just single relic slot because the night whisperer which is around which is around currently is normally only used for uh for for a solo infiltrator for its 250 percent armor piercing which is obviously great but but this um, you know could 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 even be more effective in certain circumstances again uh, something to discuss for the future they also mentioned a release of new maps for the conquest apparently they've done some changes to level one to three uh, nothing beyond that which is a bit interesting uh, because we always wanted changes in level eight uh, but here it is they've got some new maps going around apparently to make uh, the early levels quicker to clear and also got some changes to the assault levels so they mentioned this one looking like a hand um, so yeah um, well, new things are always welcome, and that, that is that is good to see. All right, guys, that's it for uh, this video. Uh, so this looks like an exciting event ahead, um, and I wish you all the best for it. If there's anything that I missed, you think uh, should have been mentioned, feel free to put that in the comment section below, and I'll catch you all in another wrong game video.